In this video, I explain MCQ of steam boiler. A unit consists of closed vessel, economizer, air preheater, superheater water wall tubes and its producing steam as per the requirement is called option A boiler, B power plant, option C steam generator. So answer is the option T, option C steam generators so unit consists means in a one unit all these components are the fitted okay that is a economizer air preheater superheater and the water wall tubes okay and the closed vessel so all these components are, are fitted in a one unit and it is called as the steam generators the function of boiler is to compress the steam to heat feed waters to generate the steam at the desired pressure and Answer C is the correct to generate the steam at the desired pressure means functions of the boiler is to generate the steam at the desired pressure. A boiler may be used to supply steam for industrial process heating, for steam engine or steam turbine, for power generations and all of the above. So correct answer is the all of the above means a boiler may be used to supply steam for industrial process heating, for steam engine or a steam turbine or for a power generation means all the answer is the correct. A type of boiler in which water and steam flow takes place due to the density difference is called fire tube boiler, water tube boiler, natural circulation boilers and forced circulation boilers. Okay, so here what is this question? Boiler in which water and steam flow takes place due to the density difference means no pump is used. The steam and the water is flow due to the density difference that is called as the natural circulation means water and steams are flow due to the gravity or due to the density difference. Okay, that is called as the natural circulation. And suppose we use the pump for circulate the water or the steams that is called as the force circulations boiler. So answer C is the correct, it's called as the natural circulation. A type of boiler in which water and steam flow takes place by means of the pump is called. So here you see, only difference is in a fourth MCQ density difference is mentioned and here the pump what is mentioned. Okay, so when use the pump, it is called as the fourth circulation boiler. So same way different option is given, fire tube boiler, water tube boilers, natural circulation boilers and the four circulation boiler. So option D is the correct answer. It is called as the four circulation boiler. A type of boiler in which the hot gases are inside the tube and water is surrounding the tube is called as the option A fire tube boilers, option B water tube boilers, natural circulation boilers and the four circulation boiler. Okay. So you only remember one thing is that which things are inside so here hot gas is inside then it is called as the fire tube boilers okay so option a is the correct suppose instance of this hot gas the water what is mentioned so it is a type of boiler in which the water are inside so which things are inside it is called as that types of boiler so here fire here hot gases are inside then it is called fire tube boilers suppose water are inside the tube then it is called as the water tube boiler now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the BME and other subject of the mechanical engineering. For the BME various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card. Card mean on the top right screen of your mobiles you see the I symbols. For other subject I request to visit the playlist. In water tube boiler, water passes through the tube and the flue gases from furnace is surrounding the tubes. Option B. Flue gases passes through the tubes and water is surrounding the tubes. So option A is the correct answer. Okay, so water tube boiler means water is passed through the tubes and the flow gases are passed through the surrounding of the tube. Following boiler is not a fire tube boiler. Not a fire tube boiler means here the different examples of the boiler is given. That is a Cochran boilers, Backcock and Wilcox boilers, simple vertical boilers and Lenken sire boilers. Okay. So here what thing is asked not a fire tube boilers means which are the water tube boilers. Okay. So out of these four the Babcock and Wilcox are the water tube boilers. Water tube means the 
inside the tube water is flowing okay and all the others means cochron simple verticals and lankes air is the fire tube boiler so this mcq is asked on a different way okay here not fire tube boiler is asking same way another mcq is possible which of the following is a fire tube boilers okay so here different option is given that is a cochron boilers lankes air boilers simple vertical boilers and all of them okay so here answer is the option d all of them because cochron boiler is fire tube boiler lankes air is also fire tube boilers and simple vertical is also fire tube boiler the steam generation rate in a case of water tube boiler as compared to the fire tube boiler is same less more or a none of the above so it is the more means steam generation rate in a case of water tube boiler is more compared to the fire tube boiler babcock and wilcox boiler is water tube boiler multi tube boilers natural circulation boilers or all of the above so here option d is the correct all of the above because babcock boilers is the water tube boilers it's have more than one tube means multi tube boilers and the natural circulations boiler a system required to create a pressure difference which is required to maintain constant flow of air and to discharge the gases through the chimney to atmosphere is known as draft damper systems combustion so here the answer is the it's called as the draft the different fitting and device which are necessary for the operation and safety of the boiler is called as the mounting so you already know the what is difference between the mounting and accessories okay so mounting is compulsory to feed in every types of the boilers and accessories are not compulsory okay so here the fitting and device which is necessary necessary means it is the compulsory it's called as the boiler mounting so here different option is given boiler accessories boiler mountings boiler drums so option b is the correct that is a boiler mounting so there is a various eight types of the mounting is there and different seven types of the accessories is there okay so number of question is also asked from the mounting and accessories so according to the ibr which one should be fitted to the boiler so one is the economizers air preheaters superheaters and the safety valve so we know that the safety valve is fitted to the boiler and others are separate from the boilers and these three are the accessories but safety valve is the mountings so option d is the correct answer which of the following is not a boiler mountings so here different option is given water level indicator feed pump fusible power plug and the pressure gauge okay so which one is not a mounting so feed pump is not a mounting okay we know that water level indicator is mounting fusible plug is mounting pressure gauge is mounting so here the option b is the correct answer that is a feed pump so you have at least know what are the various types of the mounting okay so i revise that is eight types of the mounting is there that is a safety valve water level indicator pressure gauge steam stop valve feed check valve blow up cock main hall and mud hall these are the various eight mountings okay and if you want to study the all the mounting in the details then the link is provided in a card as well as in a descriptions for the full chapters of the boiler the function of steam stop valve is to regulate the flow of steam from boiler to steam pipe to separate the steam from water to collect the steam from the steam drum and to provide the safety to a boiler so option a is the correct to regulate the flow of steam from boiler to steam pipes okay so steam stop valve is regulate the flow means either close on or or set the required quantity separate steam from water we require the steam separators okay and provide safety to the boilers we need to use the various safety valves and the pressure gauge a mounting which control the supply of water to the boiler and to prevent the backflow of the waters from the boiler it's called as the feed water heater blow up cock feed check valve or a safety valve so option c is the correct it is called as the feed check valve means pump is connected with the feed check valve and from the feed check valve water is supplied to the boiler 
so feed water heater is called as the economizers blow up cog is used for the emptying the boiler drums and the safety valve is used for the safety purpose another mcq mounting is used to protect the boiler against damage due to overheating caused by the low water level means which mounting is used to protect the boiler against damage due to overheating caused due to low water levels so option is given fusible plug dead weight safety valves spring loaded safety valves and the lever safety valve so option a is the correct answer that is the fusible plugs means when the heating is increased at that time the fusible plug is melt and the water is supplied to the furnace and the fire is stopped so we are avoid the overheating of the boilers by using this fusible plug a mounting is used to release the excess steam when the pressure of steam inside the boiler is increase higher than the safe pressures option a fusible plug b safety valve c steam stop valves and d is the feed check valve so option b is the correct that safety valve is used following safety valve is used in a locomotive and marine boiler because load on the valve is not affected due to jerk pinchings and the rolling dead weight safety valve spring loaded safety valves lever loaded safety valve and high steam and low water safety valves so option b is the correct that is a spring loaded safety valve is used in a locomotives and the marine boilers which of the following is boiler accessories economizers feed check valve safety valve and water level indicator so we know that economizer is one of the accessories because another is three is are the mountings okay so that is a totally seven types of the accessories is there first one is the feed pump injector economizer air preheater superheater steam separators and a steam trap so here the answer a is the correct that is the economizers okay for other mcqs of the steam boiler i'll make the one separate video for that the link is provided in description as well as in a card so thank you for watching this video if you learned something then like the video subscribe my channels and share with your friends